Hi, my name is Hank Hardy, and today we're doing a segment on green building in the city of League City. I'm doing a dual role today as I'm the education director for the U.S. Green Building Council, Galveston County, and I'm also a green builder roofing consultant. And today we're at the Entech Engineering Building on 408 East Main Street between Highway 3 and the railroad crossings. This building was hit by Hurricane Ike. There was an insurance claim on it and we decided to do sustainable applications of construction for the building. It had an existing roof of modified bed and insulation that was supposed to be removed but we were able to keep it on intact and not have any waste and put on what we call a spray foam roofing insulation. And I'm gonna to talk to you about it today. Not everyone knows this, but buildings are one of the most wasteful consumers of the planet in the United States, accounting for 40% of all energy use 40% of all carbon dioxide emissions and 72% of overall consumption here in the United States, including transportation, wastes, and energy costs. And for the Intech Engineering Building, I'm going to show you how foam roofing is going to help with that. Hi, I'm back on top of the Intech Engineering Roof. I'm standing on 18,000 square feet of polyurethane foam. Foam has been used in a wide array of applications from your igloo cooler to inside the walls of your home to on top of the Superdome in Louisiana. One huge factor with a building is its waste consumption. The roof alone can equal the largest amount of waste taken out of a building. With foam, we're able to spray on top of the existing roof, diverting 72 tons of waste from the landfill. Throughout the years, spray foam has been put on the inside and outside of buildings with many surveys conducted afterwards to see the benefits of it. Texas A&M in the 80s put seven and a half million square feet of foam on top of their roofs and ended up, ended up paying back in four and a half years. It is said in Los Angeles, if it was covered by cool roofs alone, the savings of health, smog reduction, and energy efficiency would be $171 million per year. Some of you may not know this, but roofs are one of the most damaged surfaces of a building. While many of us never get on top of them and never inspect them, we have no clue what's going on. They get damaged by the sun, by hail, by acid rain, and even moisture. Spray foam on top of roofs provides a seamless substrate, meaning it's self-flashing, has 100% adhesion, and can be applied to almost any surface, including concrete, modified bit, wood, and even shingles. It comes in a variety of colors and options, including granules. If you were to go with a roof like this, you can have a regular white substrate but it has a tendency to get dirty over time, but it is algae resistant, so nothing is gonna actually hurt the substrate. Foam can also come with granules, meaning that you can have hard substrates on it with different colors. So the factors, benefits of them are, are high, and the options are almost limitless. A huge difference between cool and dark roofs is the temperature where a black roof can be up to 90 degrees hotter than the ambient temperature, meaning on a 100 degree day, the roof surface can actually be 190 degrees. Currently, right now, the temperature of, let's say, the pavement on the street is 80 degrees, where this foam roof is 65, very cool to the touch. This roof will provide an insulation to the interior, keep the top cool, and by doing so, it will keep the HVAC units operating at smooth efficiency. As mentioned, Foam is self-flashing and adheres to almost any surface, eliminating fasteners used on top of the roof. Fasteners alone can reduce the effectiveness of value of insulation between 12 and 31 percent, almost counteracting all insulation put on top of the building. In conclusion, this roof is seamless, conforming, lightweight, can withstand hurricanes, and has a very high green and sustainable factor helping our environment. Stay tuned to more videos from the City of League City to learn how green building can help improve the environment around you and keep you and your family healthy.